When buying an electric vehicle, the number one thing most people care about is range. And if you're buying a Tesla secondhand, well, it used to be somewhat of a pain to understand how healthy the battery is in the car that you're considering buying. Just like the battery in your old cell phone that degrades over time and ends up needing to live on a charger full time, well, the capacity of a full charge ends up depleting. And the same thing applies to electric vehicles, even though on a larger and more complex scale. Well, just recently, Tesla introduced a new feature that makes checking the health of your battery much simpler by running a test overnight that apparently takes around 16 hours to complete, which is exactly what we'll be doing today on my 2024 Model 3 that now has around 18,000 kilometers on it, but I just did a road trip to Florida and back from Canada, which is over 3,500 miles, and I did around 30 supercharging sessions with back-to-back -back charging sessions from 10 to 80% multiple times in a day. So let's jump into my Tesla to initiate this battery health check. But before that, please take a second to drop a like on this video. It really helps out my content. All right, so we are going to plug in the car here because in order to do the test, the car has to be plugged in. So let's do that now. And then let's head into the car here so that we can initiate the test. All right, so to do this, we have to go into the settings tab right here, and then we're gonna go all the way down to service. Now you need to be in park and the car needs to be plugged into a level two charger to do this. And then right here we can do battery health. So as you can see here, it is going to give you a battery health summary. And right now it says your battery is healthy, but in reality, I actually have not done this test. And that is what it's going to say if you haven't done the test. So in order to get a percentage here and in your phone app, you need to run this test. So if you wanna read this, just feel free to pause the video or just check it out on your own car. We're going to click on battery health test here and it gives us a warning, right? So it says your vehicle must remain connected to an AC charging station for up to 15 hours, which is what we just did to complete the battery health test. Now Tesla recommends using a wall connector or mobile connector third party pay per use AC charging is uh, not recommended in this case. Now it also says that during the test, your vehicle's battery will discharge to below 10% and recharge to 100%. So as you can see here, I'm starting at 13%, right? And it took me a couple of days to do this because my battery was up to 80%. So I had to drive around town a little bit without charging in order to get it down to 13%. And in fact, before you begin, well, one of the criteria is that the battery level must be 20% or less. The other day I looked here and that was grayed out and I wasn't able to start the test. Now it also says to avoid interacting with your vehicle or the Tesla app during the test and you can cancel the test at any time on the vehicle's touchscreen. If the test fails or is canceled, your vehicle will attempt to charge to the set limit. All right, so before you begin, vehicle needs to be in park, battery level is 20% or less, vehicle is connected to the internet, no software updates are scheduled, no battery or thermal alerts are active, as well as the vehicle needs to be connected to an AC charging station, and the AC charging equipment can provide at least five kilowatts of power. So look, it is about 8 p.m. right now. I am going to start the test and see you tomorrow. Click on that. There we go, 15 hours remaining, discharging battery and it is currently at 13%. Now I will say this, this is a relatively new car. I bought this car in August, 2024, and right now it has about 18,000 kilometers on it. Now I did do a road trip to Florida and supercharged around 30, 35 times. So that could potentially have a little bit of an impact, but if this test is anything below like 97%, I would be pretty disappointed here. So like I said, I'll see you tomorrow so we can see the results. All right, so after initiating the battery test within the car, well, within a couple of seconds, a new section appeared in the mobile app where you could see that the battery test was now running and that it had started discharging the battery down to 0% with a estimated time remaining at that point of 15 hours. And quickly, once the battery did start discharging, I noticed that the car's fans were running flat out, which was insanely loud. Take a listen.
So it took around an hour or two to fully discharge the battery. And once it hit 0%, the battery was in a state of rest for another couple of hours before it started to charge up once again. But luckily the fans had stopped running at that point, which was really nice. And uh, by that point it was pretty late in the evening. So I went to bed and the next morning it finally had hit 100% charge at around 11 AM, which if you're keeping track was around 15 hours after initiating the test the night prior. But once it did hit 100%, the battery was in another state of rest for several hours actually, until around 2.30 p.m., uh, which is when I received a notification that the battery test was finally completed. So all in, consider that it actually took closer to around 18 and a half hours to complete the test, and had my battery been closer to the 20% mark, let's remember I started at 13%, well, I'm assuming it would have taken probably an extra hour to fully deplete the battery down to 0%. So I would recommend using your car's battery as much as possible and depleting it down to 5% just from your daily driving before initiating this type of test as it'll just take less time to conduct and you aren't wasting a charge. Plus, make sure you initiate the test in the evening so that it's running overnight and you aren't wasting a day where you can't drive your car. But yeah, to my surprise though, the test says that my battery still retains 100% of its charge capacity from factory, which I'm really happy about, of course, but honestly, I'm kind of surprised considering the car is already 10 months old. It's gone through a very harsh Canadian winter. I have driven it nearly 20,000 kilometers and I've supercharged it a relatively decent amount on my road trip to Florida and back where I was supercharging it multiple times a day and going from 10% charge all the way to 80% multiple times back to back. That said, I do charge almost 100% of the time on my at-home level two charger. I never let the battery reach below a 20% state of charge, except yeah, on that road trip when it would deplete it down to 10% for faster charging. I also set my daily charge limit to 80%, even though this car does have an LFP, which Tesla says to leave at a charge limit of 100%. I personally don't do that. I charge it to 100% maybe twice a month, though it's certainly not an exact science. Now, once the test is complete, you can now see this result both in your mobile app, as you can see right here, and in the car itself. And the score is valid for six months. All you need to do is navigate to the service tab in the app and then click on battery health right here, which will show you the results. So I think this is a really cool new feature that makes checking your battery's health a lot simpler and user-friendly than it used to be. And it's a great feature as well for anyone looking to buy a Tesla secondhand. The sellers should be in a position to more easily provide this metric for you. If you have a Tesla and have conducted this test on your own vehicle, please let me know your results results down in the comments. I would love to know. Hey, and if you want to support the channel, one of the best ways that you can do so, of course, other than liking and subscribing is to shop for Tesla accessories on my Amazon storefront. Link down below in this video's description and pinned comment. Uh, I've curated a list of accessories I've reviewed on the channel and that I personally have in my own vehicles. So with that said, thanks all for watching. Check out one of these two videos right here and I'll see you in the next one.